The Coca-Cola drink we know today has evolved a lot since the beverage was put in the market. In the beginning, the Coca-Cola drink was made with the coca plant. It contained cocaine because of John Pemberton's addiction to morphine drugs. The inventor of this now popular drink has an interesting background. He fought in the Civil War for the Confederates. It was an unimportant battle in Georgia that happened after General Lee's surrender. This battle was the Battle of Columbus. During this battle, Pemberton got wounded on his chest. He was treated with morphine just as many people were during that time. Eventually, he became addicted. The Coca-Cola we know today used to be sold as a so-called cure for Pemberton's addiction. It was called Pemberton's French Wine Coca. Baby. However, in 1866, the city of Atlanta made a law that brought about prohibition. It didn't matter that he was selling it as medicine. John Stiff Pemberton's French Wine Coca was now illegal. Pemberton used sugar syrup to replace the coca plant. While still making sure the drink was sweet, it was combined with carbon dioxide and became delicious fountain drink. Pemberton's friend Frank Mason Robinson came up with a new name for the beverage, one that we know so well today, and on May 8, 1886, the first Coca-Cola was sold at Jacob's Pharmacy in Atlanta, Georgia. With the changes made to the drink, Pemberton believed that the drink would no longer do well and sell in the market. He sold the company to Asa Ritz Candler. Today, John Pemberton's Coca-Cola brand is a household name. Ultimately, if it wasn't for an insignificant battle where John Pemberton got hurt, Coca-Cola may not exist today.